What I'm going to show you right now, it's a BlackBerry Storm 2 compared to the Storm 1, but let's forget about the software. Let's think about the hardware. All the improvements that RAM has made on the hardware of the phone are amazing. This is the Storm 1, so as you see, yeah, buttons, and here's the Storm 2. The first thing you notice immediately is that the buttons in this one, in the new one, are not outside of the screen, they're incorporated on the screen. And in the Storm 1, they're not. Now, let's just focus on how pretty the Storm 2 is compared to the first one. Just look at the phones put together. Probably the biggest improvement that RAM made on the phones was the screen. Because as you can tell, the screen is detached from everything here on the first one. And on the second one, the screen is a part of the entire phone. The Storm 2 is going to come in two versions now. CDM CDMA, which is Verizon, and it's also going to come in GSM which is AT&T. So the one I have right here, which is running on Verizon, as you can tell, is the 9550, because it's Verizon and it's CDMA. And the other version of this one is the 9520, which is the GSM version for AT&T here in the States. Aside from the looks, which is not the only improvement um, BlackBerry did to the phone, is they also added Wi-Fi into the phone. So whenever you're going to buy a Storm 2, yes, you have Wi-Fi now, because a lot of people was wondering if the phone was going to come with it. Yes, it's going to come with it. The biggest improvement on the phone really is the screen, the secret behind the screen. Let me show you with the Storm 1. It's one big button, right? So in here, every time I press it, you see that the phone, the screen goes side to side, right? Why? Because there's a button in the middle of the phone underneath the screen that clicks. So that's what makes the phone really, really, not bad for texting, but some people just don't like it. They prefer the iPhone, which is like a flat surface. And in this one, the screen doesn't go side to side and as you see you don't need any effort when pressing you don't feel anything coming to your finger though because a lot of people saying that oh can you feel the the keyboard no you cannot feel anything but every time you press it's like pressing a button anywhere on the screen as we all know and I'm gonna use like really dumb ways to describe the technology on the screen of the Storm 2 the iPhone is just a flat screen that you can click on the advantage of that is that you only need to click. There's absolutely no lag while texting because when you're texting, it's whatever you press. Storm 1 has the big problem of that button in between that every single time you press the screen gets in the way because you have to wait for it, for the hardware, for the screen to pop up again. So if you're really texting really fast, you need to wait for the screen to pop up again. And on the Storm 2, you don't need to wait for that because every single time you press, the screen's not going down. So the best way to show you that is, think of the screen like this sponge right here, right? And you're gonna put, this is, let's say, the glass on top of the screen. So when the phone is off, there's absolutely no electricity going in. So it's really solid and hard. That's called piezo technology and you spell it like this piezo technology so whenever you're pressing on the storm 2 when the screen is active you're gonna hit every single point you know because it's gonna go down every single time you press wherever you press so that's leaving those problems that everyone had with the first storm which was on the corners of the screen a thing of the past 
So now in this one, you can press everywhere and it feels exactly the same. And the amazing thing about it is, if it's a sponge, you can click everywhere at the same time. This is a huge advantage over the iPhone because on the iPhone, you're just pressing here, right? But in this one, since you're texting, you can just do it like this and you can press at the same time. So it has multi-touch. So what exactly is piezo technology? And it's very simple. It's a glass on top of the sponge, right? So whenever there's no electricity coming in through the screen, and that's why when the phone's off, it's really solid. But when you get an electric charge and you turn the screen on, then it becomes really soft and you can type anywhere. Is there an advantage to it? There's a huge advantage to it because you're using basically a keyboard that doesn't exist. While on the iPhone, you have no other choice but to click and hopefully you won't miss or drag your finger somewhere. In this one, you are actually pressing buttons underneath the screen. So you're making sure you're typing correctly. It's not like the Storm 1 where you have to press really hard for it to get the actual button to work. And this one's just easier. You see how much effort I'm putting into it? You hear that? Double clicking? On the Storm 1, you can't do that. It's just one. So that's a big difference in the secret behind the screen on the Storm 2. See, it's solid. There's absolutely no current going through the phone, so the screen is solid. Those are my dirty fingerprints. And as soon as you turn it on, you can hear it. I can double click. That means pressing at the same time and you can multi-touch the screen and the keyboard. Is there an advantage to it? Yeah, a huge one. You can actually use this as an actual keyboard. On the Storm 1, you don't get that feeling and you have that lag, like I said. On the iPhone, you gotta beg that you're not dragging your fingers, that you're not gonna screw it up a little bit when you're texting. So, is the Storm 2 a big improvement from the first Storm? It's night and day. There's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't get this over this. Now, is this better than the iPhone for texting? Yes, because again, you're pressing on the screen which is a huge advantage and you can do it everywhere on the screen and no problems. It's very responsive too. There's absolutely no dead points like in the other one.